When they tell me it's going to get there, it'll get there. Okay, we just looked at the Republicans in trouble this November. Now it's time for the list of the 10 most vulnerable Democratic seats. First, two Southerners, John Barrow and John Spratt, then Maria Cantwell, Alan Malawan, and Debbie Sabnow. The next five include two more Southerners, Ted Edwards, Jim Marshall, plus Leonard Boswell, Robert Menendez, and Melissa Bean. Okay, I'm back with John Gizzi from Human Events, the conservative group that created this list. Let's talk about Robert Menendez in New Jersey. A loss there, John, is really going to hurt the Democratic hopes for winning the Senate. Why is Menendez in trouble? Well, very simply, Contessa, he's an appointed senator, and the mortality rate of appointment senators is very, very dim indeed. He's running against Tom Kane Jr., son of a popular former governor and himself a state legislator. On name recognition alone and the more moderate trends in New Jersey, young Kane has the advantage. All right, let's talk about uh, Senator Debbie Stabenow from Michigan. She just barely won in 2000. So why is she vulnerable in this Rust Belt state? Voted for John Kerry in 2004. You would think with the workforce and the unions there in Michigan, her seat would be safe. Well, you'd think that, but Debbie Stabenow is no John Kerry. And in fact, she won the second closest race in the country last time. In addition, for a Republican to win in Michigan, he or she has to do well in Wayne County, uh, carry McComb, and win big in Oakland County. Sheriff Bouchard, who's taking a hard line on immigration, is from Oakland County and has been elected to the state senate and is the top law enforcement official there in the county. And, He's very well positioned. And Melissa Bean is a Democrat in suburban Chicago. Uh, this is a district, a congressional district that trends Republican. She won two years ago. So now, why is she in danger, even though that she won this uh, seat two years ago, why is she in danger of not winning now? Well, very much like Debbie Stabenow in Michigan, Contessa, Melissa Bean unseated a unwary Republican who only came home when he was up for re-election. Dave McSweeney convincingly won the Republican primary, knows how to raise money, and should put the district back in its normal Republican trend. John Gizzi, who's the political editor with Human Events. John, thanks you. Thank you, Contessa. More on breaking news out of Kentucky and active...